All right, we are testing Goddard's silver polish foam for cleaning German silver mesh, otherwise known as a nickel copper alloy. We'll see how this goes. This method was recommended through a personal communication with Dr. Ian McLeod. And he recommended finishing up afterwards with a polishing cloth. So I have one by the same manufacturer here. So, the directions say that we are to dampen the enclosed applicator, sponge here, with warm water and apply product to the silver with it. And then Dr. McLeod says, suggests using a soft toothbrush, I've used one here that I've rinsed in tap water and then again in distilled water, to work it into the mesh. Sounds like a good idea. So we're going to pick an unobtrusive corner and give it a try. And go dampen my sponge. Sponge is dampened with warm water. I've dried my gloves with a paper towel to make sure I don't get too much water around. And uh, off we go. It does not say anywhere how much to use, so we're going to start with this much and work up if we need to. As for an unobtrusive spot, I think I will do this spot right here underneath the hinge. Unfortunately, any of the obvious corners here up near the frame or down here will also be obvious visually, whereas this area up here underneath the hinge, because it gets folded, is somewhat less so. That's the best we're gonna do. All right, here's open. And unfortunately, because of the size of these applicators, it's going to be a little difficult to be very precise, but the worst that should happen with this is it should fail to clean. We should not be able to actually do any harm. And if it does fail to clean, we'll have to move up to Brasso 
so let's hope we don't have to go that far. And I think the sponge is too imprecise and I need to use more, so I'm going to dampen my toothbrush as well. But you can see just from that little bit of brushing, the toothbrush, it's already a little gray there. This is quite dirty. Toothbrush is now dampened as well. Some more warm water. It's just tap water, not distilled. A lot off. And let's try a bit more paste this time. I'm going to try that much. Again, same spot. Unfortunately, doing this spot means I've got to handle it quite a bit because it's really hard to access this area otherwise. Which probably makes it difficult to see as well. Oh, but look at that. I don't know if you can see in this light. It's all nice and shiny in there. You can see all the dirt that's come off here and on the toothbrush. Let's see if we can get a better angle for that. Nickel, because it is so tarnish resistant, this should be atmospheric tarnish, which in this case means not just from the atmosphere, but it's mostly things that have been deposited on it instead of actual loss of the metal surface. So, let's see if we put this card in, can we get an idea? Let's see what we've worked. in there. Sorry, it's an odd place so it's still kind of hard to see. Fortunately, overall this object is pretty durable, so it shouldn't mind being moved around too, too much. I'm thinking because the mesh is so fine, this will probably need to be cleaned from the inside as well as the outside. It's unlikely we're going to be able to get the full circumference of the rings from one side. photograph, but bottom line, test is successful, rings are starting to shine up in there, so I think we'll go to town.